The difference between a cell phone, smartphone and PDA. Consumer electronics today, which fall under the category of mobile devices, perform a variety of functions. Before the advent of smartphones, cellular phones, often known as cell phones or mobile phones, served a single purpose, they allowed you to send and receive audio conversations. Today's mobile phones and comparable gadgets are equipped with customized software, internet connectivity, digital cameras, portable music players, GPS functionality and a plethora of other features and capabilities. Technology advancements have made it difficult to decipher common terminology such as mobile phone, smartphone, personal digital assistant, PDA and PDA phone once again, as each type of device changes constantly and features that were previously exclusive to one type of device are now found on others. The prominent category of mobile communication devices, as well as the similarities and differences between a number of popular items, will be discussed in detail in this section. What is a mobile phone and how does IT work? A mobile phone is also referred to as a cellular phone or a cell phone in some circles. These communication devices establish a connection with a wireless communications network by transmitting radio waves or satellite signals. Most mobile phones include voice communications, as well as short message service, SMS and multimedia message service, MMS. Newer phones may also support internet-based services such as web surfing, instant messaging, and email. What exactly is a PDA? PDAs, which are short for personal digital assistants, are small handheld devices that integrate computing, telephone slash fax, internet, and networking functionality. A standard PDA can serve as a cellular phone, fax machine, web browser, and personal organizer, among other things. These devices are typically pen-based, which means that they need the use of a stylus for input rather than a keyboard. PDAs are now available in two different configurations, with a stylus or with a keyboard. Traditionally, personal digital assistants, PDAs, did not include phone or fax capabilities. What is a smartphone and how does IT work? A smartphone is regarded to be a hybrid of the traditional PDA and cellular phone, with a greater emphasis placed on the cellular phone portion of the device. These handheld gadgets combine the functionality of a mobile phone with the more typical characteristics of a handheld computer or personal digital assistant PDA. Smartphones allow users to store information, send and receive email, and install programs, all while also using the device as a mobile phone. The features of a smartphone are typically more focused towards mobile phone alternatives than they are towards PDA-like functions. Because there is no industry standard for what constitutes a smartphone, any mobile device that offers features other than those found in a basic cell phone might be classified as falling into the smartphone category. What is a PDA phone and how does IT work? It is undoubtedly a lack of standards that contributes to the consumer's confusion over the category of mobile devices. As technology advances, so are the functions that these various devices are capable of doing. Many people use to distinguish between a PDA and a smartphone merely by searching for touchscreen capabilities years ago. In this case, it was a PDA, and in this case, it wasn't a PDA but rather a smartphone. Smartphones from companies such as Sony Ericsson and Motorola provide consumers with both a touchscreen and an on-screen QWERTY keyboard. Despite the fact that the maker refers to this product as a smartphone, the generic name for a PDA-oriented device that also has cellular phone capabilities is referred to as a PDA phone instead. The lines between smart devices are fuzzy. In spite of the fact that you can now determine whether a mobile device is simply a cell phone, a smartphone, or other similar device, a PDA, or other similar device, or a PDA phone, the fine lines between these types of mobile devices are about to become blurred once more as we add new terms to the mix such as pocket PC and smartphone, with a capital letter. Taking the difference between a smartphone and a tablet as an example, as we've described above, this term refers to Microsoft's smartphone platform, which is utilized to power a wide range of mobile devices when it is capitalized. The most recent version, Windows Mobile 6, actually removes the term smartphone from its title, which should, over time, assist to reduce misunderstanding between the terms smartphone and smartphone, respectively. The Windows Mobile 6 standard for smartphones is one of the three versions of Windows Mobile 6, which is a curious name for a software package. The phrase for smartphones refers to phones that do not have touch screens. 
The Pocket PC is not a specific category of mobile devices in and of itself, but rather the label given to personal digital assistants, PDAs, that run the Microsoft Windows Mobile Mobile Operating System. Pocket PC features are similar to those of PDA devices in that they are primarily focused on computing and data operations, with additional features, such as cellular phone capabilities, serving as a supplementary role to the PDA functions. The Pocket PC is one example of a device that has become standardized. A Pocket PC label can only be applied to devices that match particular criteria, such as using Microsoft's Windows Mobile for Pocket PCs, having a touch screen, having a touchpad, and meeting additional requirements. A few well-known illustrations. The popular Apple iPhone combines a smartphone and iPod in one device that is quite popular. The HP iPad Mobile Messenger is a pocket PC with a touchscreen display. LG Prada is a cell phone with a touchscreen that is not a smartphone in the traditional sense. The RIM BlackBerry 8800 is classified as a smartphone, but its size and functionality have it on the verge of being classified as a handheld computer device. The Palm Treo 700P is a personal digital assistant phone. The Motorola Q is also referred to as a personal digital assistant, PDA, phone. What exactly are the differences this time? You may sum up the distinctions between these two commonly used mobile communication devices by saying, for example, that a personal digital assistant is more PDA than phone, and a smartphone is more phone than PDA. And, of course, a cellular phone is primarily a phone, with no other features. What if I told you? Martin Cooper, the general manager of Motorola's Communications Systems Division, made the first cellular phone call on April 3, 1973, which is considered to be the beginning of the modern era. He dialed the phone and spoke with his opponent, Joel Engel, the head of research at Bell Labs.